My journey to Middle Earth starts with a flight from Jakarta to Sydney with Qantas Air. There is as yet no direct route from Jakarta to New Zealand. So from Sydney, I hop on another Qantas flight that takes me to Auckland in New Zealand's North Island. Accompanied by Joanne from New Zealand's Foreign Ministry, I begin my adventure in a country made famous through the epic film The Lord of the Rings Trilogy, which showcased New Zealand's natural beauty. And Auckland is a good place to start. It's located in the North Island of New Zealand and is the largest city in terms of population and commerce, having about one third of the country's 4.4 million people. The city is built on a narrow isthmus between two harbours and is surrounded by extinct volcanoes and picturesque islands, making it a heaven for marine-loving people. Once the capital city of New Zealand, Auckland is now the economic driver of the country. It is New Zealand's retail and commercial centre and the gateway for visitors into the country. It ranks as the world's fourth most livable city and it's easy to see why. Hello, welcome to Auckland, New Zealand's largest and most populated city and the country's commercial centre. And as you can see behind me, Auckland is a beautiful combination of cityscape surrounded by some of the most wonderful natural scenery. I'm told that Auckland has around 50 volcanoes and as a matter of fact, I'm standing on one of them I'm on Mount Eden, and behind me is a crater of the volcano, which I'm told is quite safe. Let's hope. Present-day New Zealand is mainly a bicultural country, comprising of the indigenous people, the Maoris, and English settlers, beginning with the famous English mariner, Captain James Cook, who came to the islands in 1769. In the ensuing years, early settlers began arriving in New Zealand in search of timber, flax for ropes and whales for the production of oil. Conflicts with the indigenous Maori over land rights gave birth to the Treaty of Waitangi, signed on the 6th of February 1840 by representatives of the British Crown and over 500 Maori chiefs at Waitangi in the Bay of Islands. The treaty is generally considered the founding document of New Zealand as a nation, though it is often the subject of heated debate, with each side having its own version of the treaty. Following the treaty, New Zealand became a British colony and part of the British Empire. It is now a constitutional monarchy with a parliamentary democracy. Queen Elizabeth II is the Queen of New Zealand and the Head of State, though nationally, Executive political power is exercised by the cabinet, led by the Prime Minister. 